Today we're going Funko Pop hunting over at the mall where they have a bunch of different stores like a Hot Topic, GameStop, Conspiracy, Comics, Sunrise Records, you name it. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what we're gonna be finding. It's also raining, so let's just go inside. And just like that, everybody, we've made it over to our first store, which is, hey, oh, hey. oh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. GameStop. So let's go check the section. And now here's the first thing that I found, guys. Alice with Cheshire Cat, the giant movie poster, as well as the deluxe pop moment of Meet Corgan Thor at Thor's house. Now the problem is I don't wanna carry this thing, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it here and if it's still here by the time we're about to go then I'll pick it up. Is it risky? Yes, but it's a chance I'm willing to take. And then at the back here it seems like this is pretty much just like the usual stuff that I would see over at GameStop. They've got like Child Big Mom, Hungry Big Mom, but to, oh wait a second they've got the lizard. Pretty funny that I found this too because this is one you guys have been bugging me to purchase so yeah we definitely have to get this. All right so we are now out of GameStop. The next place that we're going to be going is actually Sunrise Records just behind me. And it looks like here at this location they actually moved their section to the corner and they have have like a last one spot up here as well as a bunch of the Gardens of the Galaxy, Shazam, a bunch of ones from Miss Marvel. And then above that we actually have Ooh on the TLC tip. Interesting. <laughs> and then looking around a little bit more I see like One Piece, Bella Porch, but honestly nothing that I need or at least nothing that's new even compared to my location that I usually go to. But it's always still good to check because you never know what they're gonna have because they do get stuff like Poison Ivy as well as I saw it where to go. This one down here, Kirogiri, which is a really cool one to see. Oh and I guess up at the front here they do have some of their larger figures. But if I'm gonna be honest, nothing that I'm looking for today, so let's go to the next store. Okay, so we're walking around a little bit more and we've now come to our next store, which is Conspiracy Comics. And now let me just do a quick pan in the section because of how big it is. It keeps going on for a long time. Oh, and it looks like over here in the anime section, they've got a bunch of the One Piece ones that my brother needs, like Luffy Gear 4, Shanks, some pretty nice stuff. Oh, and now here is one that I've actually been on the hunt for, but I know they do have their stuff a little bit higher than the rest of the mall, but this is one, I don't know, I've really been looking for this. Oh, and funny enough, here's another Another one that I need for my Spider-Man set. And this one, oh actually this one over here was $50 over at GameStop. So let's find out. I'm gonna guess maybe like 50, perhaps 60 bucks here. Uh, 94. Why do I even bother here anymore? Oh, but now hold on guys, here at the back they do have their like, I think one left kind of section and these are usually a little bit like decently priced. And anyways, let me check like Powdered Toast Man, who's exclusive to GameStop and is <laughs> $50. Okay, everybody, I think it's time. Let's just get out of this store. All right, now, everybody, we have one more store at the mall that I've got to check, and I feel like they'll probably have something I need. It's Hot Topic. Okay, so here is the section, and it seems like so far, like, the usual stuff, but something that I did notice that's new is the Gotham Knights from Harley Quinn. No, Harley Quinn from Gotham Knights. Whatever, you know what I mean. And anyways, looking around a little bit more, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy, Flava Flav, Pinocchio, Dungeons and Dragons, but honestly, nothing that I really need. I'm kind of surprised. But hold on, guys. Wait down here in the bottom. I thought this one was a different figure. No, it's the brand new Hot Topic exclusive Snoop Dogg. And now this is one that I am definitely going to be grabbing today. I just got to pick out a good box. And now that is all of the stores at the mall, but we can't leave yet because I've got to go back for Thor's house. I hope it's still here. And do 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 Here it is. Nice. Alrighty, now everybody, we have come across the street to Toys R Us because I heard everything's on sale here for some reason, so we've got to check. And it looks like I was correct because they have a giant clearance sign that everything here is on sale. Or at least most of it, because I'm noticing over here we've got some for like 1017. We've got Zorro, and I think some of the newer ones aren't on sale, but for the most part, I think they are. Oh, and I also just noticed here, check this out. They have the Facet Black Panther, which I did already pick up, but it's still really cool to see here today. And so now I guess the question is, which figures am I gonna pick up if I need any? Oh, and over here on the left, I noticed they have a lot of the gold figures on sale for 10 bucks, as well as the pins. Like, this is honestly a really great deal today. Oh, and take a look at this, guys. They have Argyle with Pizza Van on sale, the one that I needed, normally 50, on sale for 34 yeah this is a definite pickup today i also want to show you guys this because of how crazy the wall looks with all of the red stickers like every single one is like half off and now it looks like this spot over here isn't on sale because they are newer figures but i thought i might as well check them and it seems like this is the first time i've ever seen that thor as well as carax so i believe how you pronounce that one either way both really cool figures and just like that, everybody, we are back from the mall, as well as Toys R Us. And I guess we'll start with the first store that I went to, which would have been... 
GameStop. I'm gonna be honest, I was blanking there for a second. But anyways, let's get into the pop, which is the Lizard. Definitely a nice one. Also a super cool surprise because I did not expect to find these in Canada pretty much ever. But it seems like we do get them here. It's just like, you know, a few months later, which I don't mind as long as I can pick them up. And now really quickly, I do want to pop this one out of the box to see it a little bit closer up. But I know that we did go over to Conspiracy Comics and they had the Spider-Man, but I wasn't going to pay like almost double for it. Alrighty, so here it is. Oh, right. And now this is something kind of interesting because from the back or like, I guess this is technically the front. There is the lizard inside. But then when you flip it over, it's a giant version of like a popified one of the Statue of Liberty. And when you put them all together on the back side, you will be able to see the Statue of Liberty. So I can't wait to get more of these and build the entire thing it's gonna be a lot of fun also if you're wondering who's in this set besides the lizard you can see on the back here so there is spider-man of course that we saw but there's also sandman electro friendly neighborhood spider-man doc ock green goblin and the amazing spider-man so it's really jam-packed full of everybody from the movie oh and now i guess i did pick up this while i was leaving the mall but it's still from over at gamestop so let's take a look at it this one here is meet corgan thor over at thor's house such a crazy figure and i'm so glad that i was able to find it today because of the amount of detail so let's take it out of the box. And now I've got to say, these here have been some of my favorite from 2023 because Funko keeps adding more and more detail every single time. Like with this one here, you can see the background is kind of just like bumped out plastic, almost like it was pressed into something. But what's actually 3D here is the meat, Korg, and Thor. And then if you look around them, they've got some like cans with like Coke coming out of them as well as pizza. And I think the whole thing is just really well done. And also, if you guys want to take a look at them out of the wrap a little bit closer up, they are really well done inside. All right, then the last place that I would have picked something up over at the mall was Hot Topic. And I got a really great deal while I was there because it was hot cash, which means I got $15 off of 30. But then I also happen to have a $10 off coupon. So I'll show you what else I picked up besides Snoop Dogg because it wasn't just this that I grabbed. Because I figured if I were to pick up another $15 worth of stuff, it would technically be free today. And this one here was only $17.90. So definitely not the $30. And I got to say this Snoop Dogg does look pretty great. I also like how they gave him kind of like that rainbow color color for number 324 like just in general a really well done pop and then the other things that I picked up to make it $30 would have been the pocket pop for balloon foxy as well as modok and both of these are some really nice ones and if you guys are wondering what this entire like purchase came out to it was like 16 something I'm not exactly sure on the change there but it was about $16 it's pretty funny because when I got to the checkout they said I had $10 off of what I like to use it but then I said I also had hot cash so it's practically like I got the Snoop Dogg. No, wait, hold on. Everything here was cheaper than the Snoop Dogg. I was thinking he was $15, but he was actually $17.90. And with it being like 16 and change, that's pretty good. Okay, now everybody, let's get into my biggest purchase of the day in terms of the amount of figures that I got, but not the most expensive. Because the two that I got over at GameStop was actually more than this entire bag of pops from Toys R Us. And so let me show you the first thing that I grabbed that I did not show you guys because it was over by the counter. I can't really film over there, but it was the four pack of Guardians of the Galaxy Blacklight Pops. Seriously, some amazing ones that I do already have. Let me figure this out here. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I believe I have all four of them, but I just really like the bundle, and this is the only way you can get Rocket Blacklight. So, some fun stuff, and I did not expect this to come to Canada because it was exclusive to Target, and usually those don't really show up here. Or at least the good ones like this, you know? And then the figure that you guys saw that I picked up was this one, the Argyle with Pizza Van, and I was actually wanting to get this one a while ago, but when I went to Toys R Us, there was actually a girl who was looking at a different section than I was. I was looking at the larger wall. She was looking at the little one behind me and I heard her go, oh my gosh. And then she picked this up before it was on sale a little while ago. And she was like, I need to buy this. They only had one of them, of course, so I wasn't able to pick it up. But hey, you know what? I'm glad that we waited a little bit longer because I got this for 35 instead of $50. So not too shabby. And I cannot wait to take this thing out and put it with the rest of my Stranger Things pops. And then the last thing that I picked up was some sodas because they had them on sale for super cheap. I got them instead of $20 for $13.98. It was two of the Black Panther ones because I still need the chase and I figured why not let's try for it and I believe they had four of them so there's a good chance it still could be in here. And also I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking Tristan these aren't really sale prices but here in Canada they are some really great ones like you don't get this very often. Especially over at Hot Topic because I noticed every year Toys R Us does put their stuff on sale but I feel like it's never been like this before. Like I have never seen every single figure in the section on sale but anyways let's find out here what we got and uh, 
Oh no, it's got a mask. Definitely the common Black Panther, but for $13, I mean, hey, you can't complain. And now just to make sure really quickly, let me check the pog on this. No, this is the normal Black Panther. Ah, still a cool one. And so now I guess for today, we've only got one more try and let's see, I hope it is. Because at this point, for anybody wondering, this would be my third and now fourth can I'm opening up for the new Black Panther. So let's see if I did get it on this one. Come on, come on, come on. Please be the chase. Ah, I can see the mask again. Well, anyways, it was worth a shot and I guess I got two of them for practically the price of one, so you really can't complain. Oh, and now hold on guys, that is not everything for today because on our way home, I stopped at Shopper's Drug Mart and I was able to get one other thing that I wanted to show you guys. And I did do a little bit of filming at the section while I was there, but it was something I had never thought I would see there. It was the brand new Steph Curry with Trophy. One that I've been on the hunt for for a little while and I almost ordered it online a couple weeks ago but I'm glad that I didn't because I think I got it for like 17 bucks, which is pretty cheap without shipping. Also, now that I think about it, this was actually a little bit more expensive than everything that I bought on Hot Topic today. But still, it's a really cool figure and I'm glad that I grabbed it. And if you guys want to take a look, there is the Steph Curry. Now, if you guys want to take a look at the trophy, I believe this is the first time we've ever got a basketball trophy for a pop and it shows him holding it in the figure. I don't think that's possible. Like, it looks like it's here in his hand. It's probably just going to have to go in front of him, which still looks great and I'm so glad that I was able to find this today. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That is all of the pops that I got for today. And let me know in the comment section below, what was your favorite deal that I picked up? Was it the sodas over at Toys R Us, the pops, or maybe the stuff that I got over at Hot Topic? Because there was a lot of different things. And anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I'll see you tomorrow.